everybody it's julie here also known as mrs england's emporium welcome to my channel if you're new here i am a reseller and i basically sell all this kind of stuff here and a lot more this is just the tip of the iceberg anyway this is going to be my sales video for the first part of august so stay tuned to see what i've sold how long i've had it how much it's sold for how much i bought it for and you know anything else that i find think is interesting about it whether i would buy it again and that sort of thing if you enjoy this video please consider giving me a big thumbs up it really helps my channel like subscribe hit the bell for regular notifications and if you would like to support me further you can buy me a coffee the link is in the description or you can use the super thanks button which is right near the thumbs up <laughs> anyone that does that will get a shout out in a later video I'm so excited to show you the first part of August. I hope you've all had amazing sales so far. Let me know in the comments how you've been doing and let's get into it. Right, so the Monster High dolls are still selling. This one went for £17 plus postage. It was part of a huge bundle that I've talked about before that I bought for £100. I am more than three times over that now. So I've got my money back and another £200. So I'm really pleased. They only took, they've only taken about six months to sell. These shoes sold really quickly. They cost me around about a pound. They went on an offer for £12 plus postage. Um, sold within about a week. So yeah, pretty pleased with that. Not massive profits, but profit nevertheless. These curtains I've had about eight months. Um, I will always buy curtains, even if they stick around, because people always need curtains. I had sold two pairs to this person. So the first the first one they bought was this one. These were £15 plus postage. They cost me a pound. Um, yeah, they're really nice, heavy, lined, thick blackout curtains. And then they also bought these off me for £17 plus the postage. So what I did was, because they paid postage twice, I sent them in separate packages because the first lot was so heavy. They had to go in a big box, so they cost a lot to post. These ones went in a separate package. Again, six to eight months to sell, pound pair, so you can't really grumble. These were just a, I want to get rid of this sale. I've had them about a year. They were part of a bundle of a big load of toys that I got. I made my profit back on them and I just wanted rid of these. These weren't My Little Ponies. They were just bootleg ones. So I accepted £3 plus postage on them. I'm glad to get rid of them. We'll try not to get them again. These dolls, bit of a boo-boo on these. Um... 11 Disney dolls, they'll have all ranged from 50p to a pound each or when I've got one, some of them in bundles as well. So they wouldn't have cost me that much. But I took an offer of £15 plus per stage. The buyer was really pleased with them. Um, Disney dolls, I'm tending to shy away from now. There isn't a massive lot of profit in them. And as you can see from the picture, a lot of these were damaged or they had quite bad hair, even though I tried to sort them out. So yeah, not too bothered. This we paid around £3 for. We've had it about five months. It's uh, just a candelabra, um, silver plated. I took an offer on this. It didn't actually go for £17.99. I think it was £15.17 or something random. So I don't think I'd buy that again, really. I'm not really that bothered. Vintage bedding, absolutely love it. This was £2.50. This has sold really quick within a month for £14 on an offer. Um, I like to pick it up just because you don't see a lot of it around and it's quite desirable. This grumpy 3D mug. I've had this about five months. Um, I thought it would go quicker. I think I paid £2 for it and it went on an offer for £10 plus postage. I won't be in a rush to pick this up again unless I can get it cheaper than £2 another monster high doll <laughs> i am banging these out left right and center now i've reduced my prices and um, 15 pound plus postage on this one i've still got quite a few left as well and i have made so much profit on this bundle so i'm really pleased i have the big castle as well which i'm waiting to sell so that'll be a good one when that eventually goes 
these build a bear my little ponies um i've had these quite a while but i recently bundled them up because they were on on their own individually anyway um they went for 29.99 on an offer no it wasn't it was outright i'm lying um so they sold really quick within a week i had them listed originally for about eight months so i thought i'll bundle them up and see how they go and yeah they sold pretty quick happy with it i paid about three to four pound each this dolly is the one that i got ripped off on from the car boot lady an old lady made me not see that it had fingers missing anyway it wasn't worth as much as i wanted it to be because the fingers were missing but i took an offer of 25 pound it went to the netherlands to a lady that had this as a child sold within six weeks so really happy with that i paid 15 for it though these baby born clothes really shocked me i got these in a bundle that i paid 6.99 for so i've still got some builder bear stuff left these sold within two days for £12 plus postage. So look out for these if you can get them cheap. They're definitely worth picking up. These boots, oh, there's a big story with these boots. I have covered it in video 131. So look for that video and you will see exactly what happened with these boots. Anyway, they cost me a pound originally. I accepted an offer of 25 and yeah, they sold they've taken over a year to sell but i think that's the weather more than anything it's not boot weather but i am going to do a follow-up on this so uh, watch out for my follow-up video <laughs> this was two pound lisa picked this up for me so thanks lise and um, this sold within two weeks of me listing it for 18 pound plus postage it is just literally a little wooden rocking chair for a doll or a teddy bear like a display cabinet type thing not a toy but yeah, very pleased with that. <sighs> these curtains, man. Love these curtains. These sold within me listing them. Two days I listed them. And they sold on an offer for £65 plus postage. But they have been returned. The reason for the return was not my fault. The lady messaged me. She was lovely. Basically saying that they just didn't go with her decor. And the thought she thought they would. She was real apologetic. Left me amazing feedback. Um, and I've now relisted these so she even said to me you should list them for higher because I think you'll get more so I'm trying I'm going to see what happens with that these dolls this is two sets of dolls that went to the same buyer this one was an offer of £10 these literally were listed for two months cost me about a pound one fifty each um, with postage on top of that so that was good and then she offered me £11 for these these were listed for six days um, so I accepted that she paid postage twice um, and again um, she bought these to sell on to somebody else but they weren't really pleased with them but she kept them and left me amazing feedback anyway so I was really pleased with that this is a lamp that I bought with a lampshade for £4. I sold the lampshade for £9 a while ago. And then this lamp, it's lovely. It's an off-white colour um, marble lamp. It went for £19 on offer plus postage. So I've had that about three months, but well worth it. This was a disappointment. Peruvian Connection. Now, I thought that this was a really, really good brand. And when I listed this, I had it listed for £50 because that's how much they were going for had it about i've had it nearly a year and it just hasn't gone anywhere i accepted an offer of 25 so i'm going to be careful about how much i pay for that this is another massive boo massive boo i paid seven pound for this about three years ago not even joking thought it would go it's brand new with tags edinburgh collection suit accepted an offer of 10 pound plus postage it's going to a person that actually has a vintage store so i wish them luck with it <laughs> This was part of a bundle I bought the car boot for £12 with a stereo and a load of other tapes. I sold the stereo for £30 not that long ago and I sold this on sale. It was on my sale for £4.44 plus postage so pleased with that. These are another set of dolls that the lady that bought the other dolls I've just mentioned bought. Um, she bought these as well in order to sell them on but because her client wasn't happy with the other ones she actually cancelled this order so... This has not sold, so ignore this one completely. <laughs> Trunky. This has learned me a massive lesson. Don't buy trunkies that are bog standard normal colours. Don't buy trunkies that don't have all their accessories. I spent hours cleaning this up. It was disgusting. And I still only got £3 for it when I paid 2 
um, and I've had it about a year, so I will not be buying that again. Um, this M&S collection dress, I've had it about nine months. It cost me a pound and it went for £12.99 plus postage, which is about right for these dresses. It's a nice one. It's a shift dress, um, quite thin and airy for this time of year. So, yeah. This mask I bought about two weeks ago at the car boot. I paid approximately 50p for it. It was one of those things where I grabbed a load of stuff and they said, oh yeah, you can have it all for £2. So it was about 50p. Anyway, I got an offer of £12 plus postage, so I took that, very pleased. Another set of dolls clothing. I've had these about 18 months though. Um, the lady sent me an offer, I accepted it, and then she couldn't pay. So it got cancelled by eBay, then she sent me an offer again, I accepted it, and she paid the next day. <laughs> So yeah, not too bad. They they were in a bundle, so they didn't cost a lot. This you probably recognise, I've sold it before. It came back because I made a massive boo-boo on it. This is all covered in another video, so I won't get into it. Anyway, it sold again within me, within a week of me listing it for £38 plus postage. So fingers crossed this won't come back. This dress has gone to America. I've had it about nine months it cost me a pound it's gone on an offer for 12 pound plus postage it's just a lipsy dress it's nothing fancy um i only usually buy this if it's really cheap it is a shop filler something to you know get your numbers up i've had this about two years i paid about five pound for it um it's just a reese dress but it's a size four so it's very small um anyway i got an offer of 21 pound on it accepted that happy with it but I'm careful what I buy with Reese now. These skates, I've had them about eight months. I paid five pound for them. So not massive profits here, but they sold for 14 pound on an offer plus postage. Pleased to see the back of them. I'm just, yeah, I'm just glad they're gone. Again, with skates, they are funny. I think unless you get a really, really good make, you're not gonna make massive profits. So it's worth bearing in mind. Anyway, I aren't going to do as I normally do and put me facing the camera at the end. I've stopped doing that on these videos because my voice is always out of sync. So let me know what you think to my sales. Let me know what sales you've been getting. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. If you want to support me further, the link's in the description. The super thanks also. I'll give everyone a shout out. See you on the next one. And thank you so much for all of your support. Ta-ta, guys.